Right, so what I'm going to do now is to um, attack the um, list of rebuilds that I've got. I've currently got about 90, yeah, exactly 90 actually, um, packages to rebuild. Of those, I think probably about two thirds of, of, have been rebuilt, um, and maybe about nine or ten of them are packages that we've just built to enable um, functionality in other packages. They've, they've basically got rebuild this package after all the optional packages have been built, so um, they're going to take a little bit of a while. But many of the other ones that I've got left to rebuild are just a case of. Um, dependencies that have been fulfilled through what we've been doing already so I'm just going to go, go work down the list and just pick these off to, to reduce this list and then what I think I'll do is I'll go through the remaining ones that say like rebuild this after optional packages have been built there's one maybe two that I'm not going to do now because they depend on in fact it's one it's it's it depends on KDE, the desktop, K desktop environment. And funny enough, that's Falcon, this, this browser we're using. So um, I'm hoping to, to wheedle this list right down so it's just that one Falcon package that's remaining, um, which I'll rebuild after KDE has been built. So I'm going to start at the top, and the first package I've got is wget, which is probably why I've got this tab here. I must have got waylaid through something else. Um, maybe it could be one of these packages that led us down that huge path of hours and hours of building other stuff such as all those image magics and inkscapes and so on so um, hopefully this first bit this first bit of rebuilds where we've got existing packages built um, should be straightforward now um, and then the ones with optional packages that um, are waiting to be built so they might be a little bit more involved but with any luck, a lot of those packages are ones that have been um, already built as well. So I'm just conscious about disk space. Yeah, I've probably only got about a quarter of the disk space left now. So um, I think we might get into problems with disk space, but that shouldn't be too much of an issue because um, I'm hoping I haven't thought about this through properly yet but I'm hoping that we can um, use some of the Linux tools that we've built to um, resize the Windows partition um, to give us back some more space um, but as we get down say maybe down to about four or five gigabytes I think that's when I'll start worrying a little bit more unless we've got a package that does need say 10 gigabytes and I think there are one or two like that. I think Firefox is uh, one that's quite hungry for space. So um, we'll just see how it goes anyway. Um, just want to get these dependencies out of the way, the ones that have been waiting for dependencies, and th they're all reasonably small. So Okay, let's, let's crack on with wget. Um, so you can see we've visited all these pages, and looking at the names of them, I'm pretty sure we've built all these. Um, these two here are Perl's, yeah they're Perl modules so I'm just gonna list the Perl directory to see that we've got those ones. Um, so the first one's HTTP daemon, there it is there. And the other one's IOSocket SSL and that's that one there. So they're both installed and the others I'm, I'm certain are installed. So we can just extract this and rebuild it with basically it's testing a lot of these um, other packages so it means that we can test rebuild the wget test it and we know that the wget we're using has been tested rather than just using one that well it looks like it's working okay but we can't be exactly sure so the configure is the same as before but because we've got valgrind now I'm going to enable that so it tests it a little bit more thoroughly. OK. 
Okay, so that looks like that's complete. Let's build it. That's done. Let's run make check to test it. Okay, we've got eight phases. Oh, they're because of a fuzzer. Now, I did notice whatever that is, I don't know. Um, in the config, it said it didn't find that. If I can scroll back, their fuzzing build, no. So, um, because all those failures are to do with the fuzzer, um, I'm going to take that as a successful test. Um, although I haven't said that, that's the majority of tests actually. <coughs> um, let me rerun the configure and do help. And grab about this fuzz or whatever it is. Oh, okay, it's for developers. So maybe that's why a lot of the tests are to do with that. So yeah, I'm I'm happy with that. Let's just reinstall it and install. And that's done. So I'm just going to do a quick sanity check. Yeah, that, that works fine. <coughs> so I can get rid of that one. Check there's nothing else there. And I'm going to mark that off. My rebuild list is complete. 